Hello guys, in earlier video I had shown you how to do the looping and uh, writing functions for large data set. So before that I had cleaned the data. So you can see that we had cleaned the column doors etc. So what I will show you today is we will export this uh, data into a new file format. So what we can do after this we will add one new cell and inside that we'll call our data frame we have cars data 2 okay then we'll call a function it is 2 underscore csv so this is for exporting into csv format and we'll give our name of the file which you want to create so let's say filtered dot csv okay and uh, we don't want index so we'll give index equal to false that is the index column will not be included and the separator if you want you can give but by default uh, separator for comma csv is comma so we don't need this if you press shift enter our file will be created let's see okay it was you can see filtered csv is included now okay and now what we can do we'll uh, we had done like functions etc so we had added some uh, extra columns price class etc so we'll just run them one by one I am going down pressing shift enter so you can say so you can see we got uh, all the columns along with that we got price class age converted kilometer per month and then age converted again so you can see we had created on extra column so I will show you how to remove this so for this what we can do we will call our data frame cast data 2 and it will equate it to we'll call that data frame again and then we'll use drop function so inside that we have to pass the column which you want to remove so columns equal to you can give more than one column also you can give only one column also i'll give only one column which is capital a converted And if you run this again you can see now the age converted is removed okay so this is how you remove the columns which you don't want and now I'll show you how to sort the values so sorting can be done by using this command so for that we'll call our data frame cars data 2 dot sort underscore values so this is a function so inside that we have to pass the columns which we on which we want to sort the data frame so i'm gonna sort on fuel type and hp let's say we will tie with first fuel type and you can give one more than one also and one also column and now which direction you want to do so i will do in ascending that is uh, lowest lowest count first so here ascending inside that we have to pass one or zero once one means yes and zero means no so ascending equal to one so that is yes so now if you run this you can see the fuel type now is has come as cng because c is the alphabet in alphabet c comes first then we have d diesel and then all the non values in middle we have petrol but it is not displayed because of the it can't show all the values here so you can also include other data frames such as uh, hp so for that what we can do inside this list only we'll get hp okay and we have included one value extra so we'll include 
I will give 0 that is I don't want it to be ascending order now you can see this is same but HP 110 16 90 so it is not sorted okay so this is how you can sort and there is one more function called describe cars data 2 dot describe so if you call this function what it, it will do it will give you all the description of the different columns so here you can see the count how many elements of price are there then age you can see one three three six of uh, one three three six elements are there in age column like that and then for mean it gives you the mean average of the price then for age like it gives for all the columns then it gives standard deviation for all the columns then minimum number of uh, minimum value in the particular column it gives then it will give you 25% uh, 50% and 75% value of all the columns then it will give you maximum value of all the columns so this is this comes have this comes in handy if you are going to find standard deviation or minimum value or mean value and one more thing um, you can export to other format also so if you want to format uh, like cars data 2 dot we had done two csv we can do also to excel or to text but for that also we, we use csv we can use csv for converting into text file so we'll give this name as modified dot txt comma the separator which you want to use so we'll use tab and then do you want to use index so i will give index equal to false and we can check by using os.list dir and you can see modified.txt is created how to do the aggregate statistics now uh, that is using group by function so first for that first what we will do is will import the uh, data that is we filtered csv into the new data frame and we can do that using read csv function of pandas library and inside that will pass the name of the file in our case it is filter.csv and what we can do is we'll set the count so what we can do is we'll paste our data frame here cars data 3 inside that we'll create a new column so you can just give it here temporarily as count equal to 1 and now what we can do we can use our data frame dot we'll call group by function and inside that we want to give the two columns on which we want to do the grouping so earlier i had shown you uh, fuel type and hp so on those we can group by so fuel type then we'll pass so this is a list so it is not a slicing operator it is a list so we will give the next column that is uh, hp and after that after group by what we can do we will use count function to count the total number of values 
and we'll set that value inside the count column now if you run this uh, we have to close this if you run this now you can see it is giving the exact value so favorite type and hp so it is group by it on cng so how many hp are there 110 so how many values are there 15 number of values are of cng type and hp is 110 in diesel fuel type we have hp is 69 for 31 cars for 72 hp we have 69 cars and one car has 73 like that we are given and for petrol we can see 226 cars are of 86 hp so by this you can get um, greater insight using group by function so this works same as in the way we do the sql queries if you have tried sql queries this would be very easy for you to understand you can give any other uh, column here you can give more than one column also so this is how you can use aggregate statistics to, for grouping two or more columns